a very good morning to everyone now uh, students moving further with the syllabus uh, i'm going to start with the next chapter in physics that is your sixth chapter sound before i start explaining uh, let me tell you that uh, today for today's video i'll be entirely focusing on this topic sound that means i'll tell you what exactly sound is how sound travels and uh, why we term sound as a form of energy right so let's start with today's session uh, now let me begin by defining sound i'll just give a very basic uh, statement sound is a form of energy that produces the sensation of hearing now there are two points i'm getting from this definition first is sound is a form of energy and the second one is it helps us to hear the second one is quite obvious we are surrounded by so many objects we can hear the sound of uh, Uh, moving vehicles horns television music system the animals producing sound and uh, of course we communicate with each other uh, we uh, we can easily recognize our family members or friends just because of the uh, the voice their voice or the sound produced the second point is clear but the first one uh, we really need to uh, understand this point that why am i saying sound is a form of energy for this i'll just give you a situation and just visualize there's a drum and you start beating the stick what do you observe sound is produced second case if you love playing instruments what happens when you plug the strings of a guitar again sound is produced and the next one is clapping your hands when you clap your hands what are you doing sound is produced but the thing which is formed in all these cases is in all the three cases you are applying force energy is utilized if you are beating drum if you are plucking the strings of guitar or you are striking a table banging a table in all the cases energy is utilized and whatever energy force you are applying that is transferred and in the form of vibrations it reaches us and perceived by our brain as impulses okay i just explain this more with the help of vibration let us try to perform an activity not perform an activity but show you an activity with the help of graphics so that you can understand it better what exactly am i saying when i'm saying transferring an energy and vibration let's try to understand it with the help of this graph now the given graphic uh, will uh, help us to understand what vibrations are and how come uh, a vibrating object produces sound you just need a plastic or a metal ruler uh, for this and you just uh, and a table study table now what you have to do is you take a plastic or metal ruler and place it on the table such that uh, around 10 15 cm of the scale extends beyond the edge of the table next you have to do what just press the projecting end of the ruler with one hand and flick the other end of the ruler with a finger is going to be really interesting perform this activity what what will you observe you will observe that the vibrating ruler produces sound and in fact you can feel those vibrations also so that means we can easily conclude here yes every vibrating object produces sound the same activity or experiment you can do with a drum as well if you don't have a drum at home you can take any container and you know i just make it upside down and start beating it with the help of sticks when you touch the membrane of that drum of the container of course you hear the sound but you are able to feel the vibrations as well and when the sound step the sound uh, stops touch the membrane again you won't feel those vibration that means in do, in both these two activities the table one ruler one and the drum one what is common the vibrations are produced and just because of these vibration we can hear the sound so we of course we can easily conclude that yes sound is always produced by vibrating object Uh, now we have just learned that sound is produced by a vibrating body uh, wherever there are vibrations there are a sound is produced now the question arises how come the sound reaches us how are we able to hear the sound whatever sound is produced in our surrounding sound of a beating drum sound of a radio sound of television how can we hear this listen uh, this is just because of the vibrations which are traveling in the form of waves assume you are playing a tabla or a drum or a guitar 
vibrations are produced because you are plucking if you are playing guitar you are plucking the strings if you are playing a drum you are beating these vibrations are making the air particles around it to vibrate as well and these vibrating air particles are going to collide with their neighboring molecules neighboring particles and of course you know there's always transfer energy energy is never destroyed if ener if energy is provided over there of course they're going to transfer the energy to the neighboring molecules neighboring particles and these particles are going to set up a wave over there and this wave is nothing it is simply back and forth movement of the particles the moment these vibrations travel in the form of wave are Airs are going to pick up these vibrations and they carry it to our air drum, external air. Now the air drums start vibrating back and forth because they are also receiving the vibration, the energy. Don't forget this energy is started from the uh, producing area, the sound producing area and it's reaching the recept receptive area. Receptive area is air. So these vibrations are transmitted to the brain further and the brain is going to interpret and send the impulses to the brain that yes uh, this is the sound of a drum or this is the sound of a guitar so in this way sound travels and is received uh, well this brings me to the end of today's discussion in the upcoming video i'll be discussing uh, about uh, propagation of sound uh, through matter and the speed of sound in all the three mediums solid liquid and gases uh, here's an assignment for you to be done in your fair notebook and uh, the most important thing is make sure you watch this video attentively so that you can understand the concept which I explained right today in this video right that's it for the day thank you for watching